Hi everyone, welcome to Teach Take. I hope you guys are fine and in good health. I am back again with a new video. This video is going to focus on Windows Server 2022 administration. So this is going to be a full course on Windows Server 2022 administration. Therefore, before moving on the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that whenever I upload the new video, you will get notified first. Since this is the first video, so I am going to teach you on how to download the Windows Server 2022 ISO file and install it in VirtualBox. So let's get started. First of all, to download the image file of Windows Server 2022, you need to go to this link. You can find this link in the description box as well. So, in this link, you can see uh, download the ISO option. Click on it and click continue. So, you have to fill up this detail. Let me fill it quickly. After filling it up, go down and click on this yes checkbox. Click on continue. Now, select your language that is English. Click on download. I have already downloaded this file, so I am not going to download it again. My file is already here. This is the disk image file of Windows Server 2022. Now let's open the virtual box. If you have not installed the virtual box, you can go ahead and download the virtual box easily. You can also find the download link of VirtualBox in the description box as well. The download process is very easy and since this is a freely available software, you shouldn't have to worry about its license. So now click on new. You can see different types of mode. We have been using this simple guided mode, but if you click on this export mode, you can do it very quickly. So first name section, type Windows Server 2022. The type is Microsoft Windows. In the version, you can select Windows 2019. Since the Windows 2022 option is not available in virtual box, choosing Windows 2019 64-bit option works. So if you are not able to see 64-bit option right here, you can go to this I button link and watch the video on how to solve the error of 64-bit not being shown on your virtual box. So click on Windows 2019. You can allocate the RAM. For now, let me allocate 4 GB. You can slide this bar. Right now I have given 4 GB for this Windows Server 2022 installation. But later on you can edit this setting. Create a virtual hard disk now. So click on create, click create. Now we need to go to setting, go to storage, click on this empty and choose this small disk. You can choose disk file. So this is the file that we are going to use for installing Windows Server 2022 in VirtualBox. Click on open. Click OK. So now let's start the installation process by clicking on this start option. You can go to view and click on full screen mode for getting your full screen view of your operating system inside VirtualBox. Now let's select the languages and other setting. Language to install is English. Time and currency format is also English United States and keyboard or input method is also US. This is fine. Click on next. Click on install now. 
setup has just started this may take some time now here is the important part there are four options right here if you see there is any standard evaluation version and the other one is the data center evaluation version if you see this desktop experience it means only if you install only this standard evaluation or data center evaluation this is going to give you only cli view but when you install desktop experience it is also going to add your graphical interface for this lab we are going to use windows server 2022 data center evaluation with desktop experience so choose this last option and now click on next click on this tick mark move on to next so right now we can see two options one is the upgrade option the other one is the custom option upgrade works when we have older microsoft server operating system we want to keep those files keep those settings and if we want to only update our operating system we can choose this option but it is recommended to have a clean installation so choose this second option now we have the drive allocated as 50 gb because since this is going to be installed on our virtual box we are going to give a drive size of 50 gb so uh, choose this drive and click on next installation process has begun it will take some time so we will meet after the installation process completes now let's give the password the username is by default administrator click on finish let me retype the password the password must be very strong and complex click on finish the windows is getting finalized the message says press ctrl alt plus delete you can go to this option click on input go to keyboard and click on this insert ctrl alt delete option give the password so this is our server manager this server manager is responsible for managing all the services that we are going to provide through our system we will talk about this in more detail on upcoming videos this much for today see you on the next video thank you very much